A friend of mine came out of the woodwork. He had heard that I was there and he is an instrument maker. He was actually one of the first Swiss people who went to Trinidad and Tobago and did an apprenticeship back in oh, the late 80s, early 90s to learn how to make those instruments. And he then agreed to volunteer and to come across all the way across to see us in Australia and to work with us. And that's what he did. He started to work in our shed and volunteering his time. The steel pan started in uh, Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean um, has been invented by young Trinidadians using all kind of metal containers to do rhythm and music with and uh, Trinidadians discovered that uh, different sized bubbles would uh, make different musical notes and they took it from there and developed it into a a fully chromatic um, musical instrument. There are um, basically four voices of steel pan to look at. The soprano, the alto, baritone instruments and bass instruments. It's a traditional Trinidad steel pan. It's called a single guitar. It uh, functions as a baritone instrument with limited um, tonal range, meaning there is basically a, a D major scale on it used to play chords, to strum chords um, in Trinidadian old-time steel bands, hence the name um, single guitar. Just play a few chords here. What we've got here is a soprano instrument, um, made and rough tuned will take me a few more hours to get it sounding really beautiful. Function as the functions as the melody instrument in a steel band. Okay, what we've got here is a baritone instrument which I just um, finished raw making. It means I, I sank a bow like shape into the flat drum. I marked the layout, the note placement, I shaped the notes back making them pop up so it kind of I grooved the circumference of the notes with a with a punch. I'll now flatten out the entire surface in between the future notes and cut the drum to its proper length. Uh, right now these bubbles are not tuned so they sound like this. 